Mike Warren is with me right now. You may not know the face, but I'm sure you're going to know the voice when you hear it. He uh, has been the Super Dirt Car Series announcer this past year. He will also host the Dirt Car Banquet uh, for a first time. He is here at the Northeast Racers Auction Trade Show, joining me in the Troyer booth. How you doing, man? Not bad, not bad. Glad, uh, you know, glad to come back home. You know, one thing I love, yeah, I, I mean, I relocated to North Carolina a couple of years ago, but best part about this job is I get to come home all the time, back That's to New true. York where I was raised. Yeah. 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 And, and in 2010, were you a a broadcast guy coming in? Were you a racing guy? What were you so, before you got started? So I've always been a race fan. I've been going to London Valley Speedway since before I knew it hit me. And actually, oh, my, okay. first, my first race coincidentally was right here. So Really? Right at Syracuse? Yeah. Oh, okay. When I, when I was really young. But, uh, you know, I got started when I was in 2010. I was a freshman at Tompkins Portland Community College, actually, in a broadcast, broadcast journalism program. Mm -hmm. And it's somebody asked me I had to fill if they wanted me to fill in for Dan Martin and the rest was history. I did it and went from there. Big shoes. Uh, well, if you want to talk about filling big shoes. Yeah. Uh, compared back then, definitely big shoes. Mm -hmm. Now even bigger, I would say. <laughs> uh, you know, like I, I made the joke all year. Trying to fill size 24 shoes isn't easy, but I yeah. think I've done okay here in the first year. What was the first couple of things you learned? Because you know, broadcasting is nothing like doing PA at a racetrack, is it? No. You gotta you gotta be able to think on your feet. You know, you, 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 it's a little different back then. Was streaming wasn't really a thing when I got no. started in 2010. It's a whole different animal now. But you know, you just got you just got to roll with it. You're gonna make mistakes. It's mm -hmm. gonna happen. But yep. you just gotta know how to limit them the next time you come out. It's no different than going down to the basketball court. Yeah, and now with streaming, you know, like at Canandaigua, we've got a big screen, so you can kind of like I, what I did. And tell me if you think this is right. I would announce for the stream, like when the cars are going by the grandstand, and I know the fans can't hear me, and then when I knew the fans could hear me, I'd kind of change it up a little bit. Is that about what you do? A little bit of both. So I kind of I kind of look I look at the monitor at the same time, but I kind of direct my producer a little bit. More. Gotcha. Like, I'll, I'll give, like, a, for example, I'll give, like, a cue. Hey, there's this, take a look at turn three right now. These two guys are going right. side by side, so it's a cue for both of them. With the big screen, we have that advantage where we can do it. That's true, because I used to do a TV show in the early 90s, and they'd get stuck on the leaders sometimes, and I'd just do something like, uh, uh, you're watching the leader here, but I'm watching the battle for fourth. They're just coming out of turn two. The orange number 12 is, and, and then you'd see them pick it up, and because uh, it really is a, is a team effort between you, because they're in the truck. They can't see what's going on. Right, and it's it's one of the biggest things, too. Like You never want to forget who the leader is up front. Right. Let everybody know what's going on, right. but you know you have these big battles. Like if, say, Larry White, for example, is coming from 24th into the top 10, you got to keep track of them. That's true. Yeah, and I remember Roy Sova was one of the first ones. He says, if the battle for ninth is the only battle on the track, then call the battle for ninth. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Every time. Yep. Although we watched the NASCAR race, and I thought, I've kind of felt bad for, uh, was it Ross Chastain? Yeah. Who won? I didn't think he, because when you do victory lane, I always thought you do the race winner first, the champion second, don't you? That's that's what I, I would think, because it's kind of, you know, it's a secondary thing. Not, not that the championship is ever secondary, right, but you right, get what right. I'm saying. And that's, well, we'll get NASCAR, that's a thing. Right, that's a whole that, different that's thing. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah. But uh -huh. it's one thing, like, you don't want to forget that Ross won a race. That's huge momentum going into next year's 500. Right, yeah, and winning races is hard. I think harder now than at, at everything, even with what we're doing. It's harder now than it's ever been. Exactly. I mean, we had 10 different winners in the Super Dirt Car Series in 2023. Matt and Matt got their five, but it's they'll be the first to tell you it's hard to win on any given night. Mm -hmm. And Matt will actually go on and tell you, Matt Shepard, he probably ran better than he did last year, just didn't have the victories. That's true. And, of course, that first-time winner, I know you got to do Chris Heil on the tour. Something special about that. You said you wished you were in victory lane on that one, huh? Definitely. So I used to pit report all the time. Of course, I did Super Dirt Week for a number mm -hmm. of years. Those first-time winners, there's nothing like it. Nothing. The emotion just that comes out of it. You can't you can't replicate it. Mm -hmm. That's really the only way to put it. We aired this after the banquet, so Mike will already have that under his belt. He will be hosting the Dirt Car Banquet. Um, that is a tougher deal, I think, than announcing at the track, isn't it? I think it is because, you know, all year at the track, you're not, it's a whole different animal being on a microphone, you know, broadcasting than it is standing up in front of people. Yes. It's public speaking. It's, so it's the tux, too. It's <laughs> completely obvious. Ah, that part's no big deal. Oh, I never liked it. Okay. But, uh, I used to coach basketball at the time, so that used to have to be a thing oh, I got used to. Oh, okay. But it, uh, you know, it, it, it'll be fine. You know, really, at the end of the day, it's just having a conversation with a ton of my friends. That's true. But Shane, I mean, to talk again about shoes, I mean, you and I were talking about the biggest thing I thought that Shane did at the banquet that made it work. He was so relaxed and so funny. That's just shame. I mean, yeah. That, but that's the thing. That's how he is every day. And I'm hoping I can emulate that the best I can and, you know, keep bringing all the action in for fans to come for plenty of years. What's the biggest thing you enjoyed about this past season being the voice of the Super Dirt Car Series? Uh, getting to come back home. You know, I spent two years just full-time with the World of Outlaw Late Models. This past year, I did a little I bit I forgot of about that. That's I right. Did, I did the PR for the Late Models and then was doing the Super Dirt Car Series as well. It was nice to come home a little bit during the summer, you know, mm -hmm. and see all my friends at the racetrack. I really had a lot of them I hadn't seen in years. Yeah. And, of course, Rick Eshelman, we 
we miss him horribly. So uh, that had to be another tough situation to step into. It was definitely, you know, good that we had somebody like Ruben who was able to step in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was an exciting year on that tour as well. But again, we can go all day with that. Yes, we can. So good to see you. Please keep in touch. And next time you're around the Syracuse area, please give me a shout on Facebook or something. Let me know and I'll get you back on camera. Absolutely. Thanks, Doc. Mike Warren, the voice you heard on the Dirt Vision Super Dirt Car Series races. Now you know what the face looks like. And you will see him back on the tour next year, right? Yes. Very good.